Yeah, guys, but like I was saying before, some of these narcs try to play Christians, but we, the ones that are really locked in, we are smarter than we seem. We are smarter than them for sure because we have the intuition that only God could give us, that God put us put in us. We have so many superpowers that these narcs don't have. All of us that are talking to God and even people who want to start getting a relationship with God and don't have one yet, but aren't narcs, they still have more superpowers than narcs. So they are working overtime and they think that a lot of a lot of them think that religious people are idiots and that yeah if you were so religious you would see what you're dealing with but the thing is if they stay in our lives long enough especially in a sexual way the people that if you're dating this person and you sexually involved with them you feel that something's not right it's a lot of sex magic the sex is not like with a person that loves you and you love them even though people can get really confused with sex because some people feel like the act itself is a sin. But God made our bodies. God knows that sex happens. And when done with the right person, where it's genuine love and they care about you and you care about them, it's not a sin and it's not bad and it's beautiful and it's natural and it's wonderful and it makes people, you know, it creates more life it's a beautiful beautiful thing when it's with the right person so even christians know that something's not right when they're doing this act which is a soul tie and i'll make another video about that how you have to break the soul tie that you had with this demon entity because during the act of sex they might have been doing witchcraft and saying spells in their head and putting chants and curses on your life, trying to, trying to put curses on your life. And some of them might have even succeeded with certain curses, but you can break those curses because this is your power in your life. And the people that are tapped in with God, which is us, the empaths, are always stronger than the people that are without God. They don't have the resources that we have. They don't have the resources we have. They don't. They don't have the resources we have. And they use people that are locked in with God to get what they want in life. They're users. And if you stay with a narcissist, you will die because they are so, they are so, 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 so greedy and they are so hungry all the time. And it's like a bottomless, black pit they're never full they're never satisfied and us empaths even though we're stronger than them it eventually wears us down it's a lot of wear and tear on us and these narcs you have to for your body and for your health you have to get away from them because they don't care about your health and they will keep asking for more and 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 playing in your face they're essentially playing in your face saying that you feel bad for me so you'll give me whatever i want and you have to just stand up for yourself and have those boundaries because the narcs respect every single person that cut them off because they know oh that person just had self-respect they know they aren't about anything good they know they mean you harm. They mean you harm and they meant us harm. They mean every person they come across harm. Every victim they meant harm. So they have nothing but the utmost respect for every person that has cut them off. They might not like us, but they have respect for us. So it's actually the people that they claim to like and they only, we know, based on how bad they treat people behind closed doors. We know they only like them sometimes and they only like them when they are getting what they want and in public. But other than that, the people they like are the people they disrespect. They disrespect the people that can't see how evil they are because they're thinking to themselves, I know I'm grimy as hell. And even you have figured out I'm grimy as hell and you still want to be with me? I don't have any respect for that. Ooh, you're just as grimy as me. We're just two grimy MFs. 
And the whole time, a lot of us knew we were too good for the narc. We knew we were too good for the narc. We thought we were doing them a service, helping them up. And we did help them up. But they didn't give us not one drop of credit. Not one drop. So here we are. We lifted them up. A whole demon. So who do we really serve? And that's why we have to wash ourselves of that. Because during that time of lifting the demon up, you were serving the devil. And you didn't even know it. You were working for the devil. And when I realized that, I had so much apologizing and repenting to do along with breaking the soul tie of this demon that I had. I had to break the soul tie and apologize all these things because not only did I, I didn't even have the strongest relationship with God, but I let a demonic entity slither into my life and have me working for the other side. And you just have to let these people go back to the level that they deserve to be at. And that's really what happened with my narc. When I left the equation, he went right back down to the level in society that he needed to go back down to, where his karma had him. He had so much bad karma and I felt bad for him. So I was absorbing all his bad karma and giving him my good, my good luck. But all of this can be undone by God and it has been. I've unchained every shackle that was chained on me. This demon doesn't know where I live. They don't know how to get to me. They don't know anything. And they, I rebuke them in the name of Jesus. They have no access to me. And that is their punishment. But guys, you have to get strong enough to leave them because if you don't leave them, they will kill you. I promise you, they will kill you. Just the tension of what you're dealing with, you'll come up with cancer or you'll come up with, I would have definitely got cancer if I had stayed with my, my narc. And I was just miserable. On top of that, like what kind of life are you living if you're miserable? Even if you're alive, you're either alive and wish you were dead or you get something. I promise you, if you stay with that narc, they will give you some form of cancer that comes from just being so nervous that your cells are just multiplying at a crazy rate and your body can't regulate itself. So some form of cancer, an STD that you just can't get rid of, or your addictions will be spiked because they have you stressed out. These people just have you stressed out because you can feel something's not right and you are working for the devil. So guys get away from them and a lot of your health problems will heal so many people have spoken about how they were in the hospital for so many different issues and then years after cutting the narc off they went back in for a checkup and those same issues were completely gone if not almost gone where their doctors were saying to them what have you been doing whatever it is it's working and it was just cutting off that terrible poison that was in their life and loving themselves so much that it started to heal that problem where they were now they were meditating they were doing breath work they were talking to god getting locked in with their passions their purpose these demons want to take you off your purpose so if i hadn't gone through something like this i swear i wouldn't know for sure that spiritual warfare is real and so i'm so glad that i know for sure it really matters who you keep around you and if you think back the energy was always weird with that narc so just keep weirdos away that's it it's pretty easy the energy was always weird and i always say if covid hadn't come out when it did i would have cut that mf off he gave me an icky 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 vibe and I always knew it. And there's just no room for being too nice. Being too nice will get you nowhere. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Everything happens for a reason. But if you don't cut those narcs off, they will kill you. And I'm telling you, I said this in my other video, they're so trifling, they will bring the new supply to your damn funeral. That's how trifling they are. And make sure they have no access to your funeral anyway. Because, ugh, they did nothing but make us worse. But guys, 
And my heart really goes out to the people who marry these demons because it is so hard to get out of that. They make it hell to get a divorce. They draw it out. They want to keep seeing you. They want control over you. They don't want you to be free. My heart goes out to people who are currently in the process of getting divorced right now. But yeah, they will kill you. So get away from them. Make a plan and stick to it. And things will be so much better on the other side where you start your healing process. And for the people that are already out, like me, and we've been healing for the past few months or years, isn't life so much better now? All right, guys. See you in the next video. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. And see you see you then. Bye.